and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a nap tip of the day. I used to do these videos a lot when I first started my channel but for some reason I kind of stopped making them and recently a lot of you have been requesting for me to start doing these more often. So I'm really excited to do this one today. I also kind of like my outfit today so um, I wanted to share with you what I'm wearing. Um, so today I had a class from 12.30 to... 3.30 so not a big day but I, I still had to work on some stuff in the morning and then so yeah so I went to school and so I don't have anything on my lips right now and it feels very weird so I'll just show you a little lip combination that I've been doing recently okay so first thing I'm gonna do is line my lips I'm gonna be using the lip liner by NYX in the shade natural I haven't like swatched it next to world I think there's there's two that I like from NYX it's soft brown and natural I'm not sure which one is the closest to world from Mac but one of these two is a close dupe to Mac world it's a really great lip liner great quality and the color is very nice so I'm just gonna line my lips because I wear fake tan and I I wear it on my face but it fades really quickly compared to the rest of my body so usually like my face is white and then I have to apply foundation to make it match to my neck but sometimes when I eat or take off my lipstick you'll see that around my lips it looks a little white and that's just because my skin is very white so I find that lining my lips kind of prevents to have that kind of white line around my lips if that makes any sense And then I just fill them in a little bit, but not too much. And then I'm going to go in with the lip primer. It was my first time trying a lip primer, and I really like this one. It's the Lip Fusion XXL Plumping Primer. It smells amazing, and I love the texture of it as well. Um, so I just apply this on my lips. It's a really nice texture. It doesn't add too much slip, so lipstick will actually go on really smoothly, and it won't be like too slippery, because sometimes lip balms... Are great but before lipstick I feel like you kind of lose the pigmentation of the lipstick but this is just a nice base but it's not like too slippery so I like that a lot and it's kind of plumping as well which I love and now I'm gonna go in with lipstick now I, I really like nude lipsticks I used to love deeper darker like reds or just deeper colors but recently I feel like just nudes suit me the best I don't know why I'll definitely try to wear more darker lips um, in the upcoming months but I don't know nude lips just work for me <laughs> recently so that's what I've been doing a lot so this lipstick is by lip fusion this is in the color pillow talk it's a nice nude so it looks like that and then I've been loving lip glosses recently as you probably know so this one is again by lip fusion I've been really because I got quite a couple products from them so I've been trying them out and uh, that's why I use a lot of uh, lip fusion products the brand is actually fusion beauty but they have like a lip fusion so all of their lip products are called lip fusion and so um, this is the gloss infatuation gloss in the shade angelic and this is such a pretty color because it's kind of a rosy nude with um, a little bit of shimmer in it so that's why I really really like it so this is the lip color I really like it because it actually lasts a very long time because like I layered product like I put on lip liner and then the lip primer lipstick and lip gloss which seems a lot but I just love lip products but um it actually lasts a long time on your lips and I think this is just like a great combo for school it's not too much and it's just like a great everyday lip color so anyways that is for my lipstick and then on my face which you can't really see my face makeup too well right now but I've been loving the NARS tinted moisturizer I use the shade St. Moritz and I only got a sample of it from Nordstrom but it's really really good and I really want to pick up the full size I was gonna get it at IMATS when I went this weekend but uh, they didn't have it <laughs> so um, but I'll definitely show you everything that I got at IMATS um, I had such a great time so I'll definitely do a haul show you what I got but that's what I have on my face and then I use a NYX bronzer which I love and then for blush I have I think Reckless from Marc Jacobs which I love I used to wear that a lot last fall last winter now I'm back at wearing it a lot um, and then that that's that's pretty much it for my makeup um, it's very simple but yeah 
I liked it for school. It looked much nicer earlier today. My face was like glowing because the tinted moisturizer is super pretty on the skin. Um, so yeah, I'll try to speak slower because I think I'm speaking very fast. <laughs> so that's pretty much it for my makeup. And then for my hair, I curled it, I believe I curled it yesterday. Um, I did a whole video on how I dye my hair home plus what's my hair color so if you're interested I'll link the video down below I just did it I uploaded it last week and um, yeah because that video was super requested so I'm really happy that I finally uploaded it but yeah I, I've been really liking my hair color as well if you wanted an update but um, that's for my hair and then um, I'm just wearing this little shirt it's actually like a three-quarter length shirt from H&M I really like it but it shrunk in the wash so I would not recommend it I used to be able to wear this with leggings but not anymore <laughs> that was a weird accent um, and then for shoes I was wearing the Sam Edelman flats I actually got these this weekend I have the nude ones and they're just my favorite flats and I thought I when I needed kind of a black pair because I don't have any black flats at the moment I was just wearing the nude ones which I love and these are my like my favorite flats they're expensive but I think they're really worth it because they're all leather really comfortable and and really great quality and the leather is very soft um so yeah but the bay were actually having a sale all the shoes were 15% off and that was really good because Sam Edelman usually doesn't get on sale usually doesn't go on sale so I was happy that the bay uh, were having a 15% off of the entire shoe department I believe and I didn't really visit the other departments like clothes and stuff but the shoes were 15% off, so that was good, so I bought a pair. <laughs> What's up with my accent? I bought a pair of black flats, and I, I really had these. I wore these today, and then as for my bag, I wore my Speedy 35. I was actually going to do a um, What's in My Bag video, but it would just be way too long because I have so much crap in my bag. Like, it is filled with crap I even have underwear in there necklace is from Sohovsky I always get questions about this necklace um, I've been wearing it pretty much every single day of my life ever since I got it my boyfriend actually gave this to me or first Christmas so it's been uh, almost two years because we've been together a little over two years now um, but yeah I, I take my shower with it I just wear it when I sleep I just wear it all the time the only time I'll take it off is if I'm applying fake tan but then I usually put it back on the next morning so it's from Swahovski they still have it actually yeah these are two Alex and Annie bracelets which I really like this jacket I actually got it this weekend in Toronto I did some shopping in Toronto so I'll definitely have a haul as I said but um yeah I love this jacket it's not real leather it's from Zara I don't know if I said that but um it's really nice I really like it like it looks kind of cool you know what I like is that there is like these snaps so the um the front actually like stays open so you can see your shirt underneath which is always great um so yeah that's from zara they still have it i believe it's from the basic um i think it's just zara basics it was 69 yeah 69.99 but i think it's really worth it it's really nice uh, it comes with a belt but i didn't wear it today because i think it's just a little too much but um it's kind of short like my mom said it was too too small for me because one time I was shopping with her and I tried that one on and she was like no it's too small for you and it's just the way it's made I think I actually really like it so I'm really happy about it and then my jeans are from H&M no my jeans are from Zara and these are the best jeans they're I don't have the tag anymore because I've been wearing those for the past like three weeks pretty much like I would wear these every day I love them so much and if you know me you know I'm not a jeans person like I pretty much hate jeans but I pretty much only wear black leggings from Zara again I love Zara as you can tell but these are just the best these are the body curve um, it's like a new line that they came out with and they're amazing I definitely want to get other uh, washes but I bought a pair of the body curve line but they're just completely black like black skinny pants I guess and I got them in my normal size and they were way too small I actually like couldn't pull, pull them up they were like stuck to my thigh so I'll have to return those and get a size up but it's funny because they're really stretchy so I don't know maybe I got like a wrong a wrong pair but it was way too small but I love these usually I cannot wear jeans from Zara because they're always way too stiff and too 
I don't know how to explain it, but usually there is no butt room, basically. I, and I don't have the biggest butt, but usually jeans from Zara never fit me. But these fit me like perfectly everywhere, so I'm really happy about those. And then for my perfume today, I wore the Dolce & Gabbana Pour Femme. This smells really, really good, but I haven't worn it in a very long time. I'm really happy I wore it today because I... It kind of made me love it again. I don't know why for re for a while I I didn't really wanted to wear it. So, anyways, but I really like it. It smells like raspberries and marshmallows. It smells very warm. I have a hair. I always have hairs on my face. Um, it smells very warm and kind of sensual. Not really for daytime, but I don't I don't really mind. <laughs> it smells really good and it lasts a very long time as well. So. I really recommend this perfume if you like scents like that. Um, so that's pretty much it for my video. I still have a hair. Well, that is pretty much it for this video. I really hope you enjoy. I know it was kind of long. I actually really like filming these types of outfit of the days. But let me know if you would like them to be a little bit shorter. And I can definitely work on that. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. As always, uh, if you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos. Again, leave me all of your requests down below. I have more makeup tutorials coming up soon. Um, I've been really busy recently with school. I went to Toronto for the weekend. So I've been really busy also working on other videos that you'll be seeing soon. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.